In this video, we will talk about what is solar energy, how does it work and, also its advantages and disadvantages. Different technologies can be used to transform radiant light and heat from the sun. Through photovoltaic and heliothermic systems, solar energy can be used to produce electricity. It's also possible to use an architectural approach to harness renewable and clean solar energy. Photovoltaic solar energy is the direct conversion of solar radiation into electrical energy. This process is carried out using photovoltaic cells. These cells are made of a semiconductor material, usually silicon. When sunlight falls on the photovoltaic cells, there will be movement of electrons that are transported, in this material being captured by an electric field, which is formed due to a potential difference between the semiconductors. Thus, there will be electricity generation. The conversion from photovoltaic cells is classified as direct, although the generated electrical energy will need to be converted again, into light or mechanical energy, for example, to be useful. The photovoltaic system consists of panels, being one of the most promising forms of electricity production today. In addition, it has received incentives and presented price reductions. However, although it does not require an environment with high radiation to function, it will have low energy production if the number of clouds in the sky is greater. But what can we do with the panels at the end of their useful life? A solar panel is made up of different layers. The inner part is a thin layer of crystalline silicon cells. These cells are surrounded on both sides by sheets of polymers and glass, as well as an aluminum frame. There is also copper wiring that channels the generated electricity. When solar panels reach the end of their useful life, the recommendation is the recycle. In the European Union, legislation obliges producers to ensure that their solar panels are recycled. In the recycling process, the panel frame and its junction box must be separated to recover aluminum and copper. The rest of the material is mainly composed of glass, but also contains polymers, silicon cells, a silver electrode soldered with tin and lead. Thus, the resulting product is ground and considered impure glass. Solar energy can be transformed into heat, in the heliothermic system, for heating, mainly, water in homes or power plants. In that case, solar panels that reflect sunlight are used. These panels concentrate light on a single point where a receiver is located. This receiver is usually a liquid, which is heated by sunlight, storing heat, heating water in power plants and, producing steam. Steam is responsible for moving turbines in power plants, which trigger generators and produce electricity. The main advantages of solar energy are Solar energy does not pollute during its production and pollution from the manufacture of equipment for the construction of solar panels is controllable. The maintenance in generation plants is minimal. Solar panels are increasingly powerful and at a lower cost so they are an economically viable solution. This process is excellent in remote or hard to reach places since its small scale installation does not require huge investments in transmission lines. In places far from energy production centers, its use helps to reduce the energy demand in these places and consequently the energy loss that would occur in transmission. The use of solar energy is viable in practically all the territory in tropical countries. The main disadvantages of solar energy are A solar panel consumes a lot of energy to manufacture Prices are very high compared to other energy sources There is variation in the quantities produced according to the atmospheric situation, such as rain, snow, and, during the night, there is no production at all. So it is necessary to have means of storing the energy produced during the day in places where the solar panels are not connected to the grid power transmission. Locations in mid and high latitudes, like Finland, Iceland, New Zealand, southern Argentina, and Chile, experience sudden production drops during the winter months due to the lower daily availability of solar energy.
Locations with frequent cloud cover, like London, tend to have daily variations in production according to the degree of cloudiness. The ways of storing solar energy are inefficient when compared, for example, to fossil fuels, such as coal, oil, and gas, hydroelectric energy, water, and biomass, sugarcane bagasse or orange bagasse. If you liked the video, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe.